Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I probably should have cut it off during the loading screen, but whatever. We're entering a new area. So now we're pressed against time to load the charge and other fun stuff. Hey, we got maximum ammo back for uh, the arc welder. One of the coolest weapons, definitely. All right, let's go, guys. I can see the harvester ship. It's almost over. Yeah, it's all me. Don't worry, there's no actual timing. Uh, you, can, you can you can leave your computer running for like an hour, and it will not reach the harvester ship. It will not care. It's just a story kind of thing. You see Voyager anywhere? Yeah, nice shooting in a row. No, nope, can't see Voyager out there. It would be kind of cool if you could. Looks like we're headed down. Let's just hope that we don't have to, you know, manually load another one and go throughout the ship again. Although, then again, the thing was just misaligned, so we could probably load as many as we want. We're not getting through here with those rods down. Oh, wonderful. Oh, crap. Uh, we're not getting through here with these guys here. I probably should have this out, just in case. Oh, nice. You know, I would I would keep one person there. So, oh, see you later, Chang. <laughs> I I didn't know you could. It would actually leave people behind. I thought it was scripted not to do that. I hate how this guy's running ahead of me, because it's causing me to think I'm going to hit him. Uh, we got ammunition crystal. Wow, it's giving me lots of ammo now. I'm going to use the arc wielder a bit more. Later, Chang. <laughs> he was so useful for this mission. I just hope that he's not actually required to be anywhere. Probably make me take less damage if, uh. Oh! Uh -oh. They're gone now. Oh, they're coming through. Yeah, I don't get her. So now we gotta kind of backtrack, which is why I guess we get to see him again. Because that's why the game doesn't care. Oh boy. How much, how much thing do you guys take? Alright, let's just grab this one. Maybe use a bit more of the grenades. As I said, best weapons. I could use the, the, the torpedo launcher thing too, but this one's actually a lot more fun. And it also costs less ammo. Oh, there he is. <laughs> nice of you to join us. Actually, it's torpedo ham. Actually, I think there's something down here. Oh, there we go. Wow, more ammo I really don't need. Alright, well, let's, let's go and, uh, arc wielder. Oh boy. Uh, no, let's, uh... Nope, I didn't mean to use that. Now we'll arc, arc wielder. Welder. Wielder. I know. We should get killed like this. Don't tell me to hold my fire, there's an enemy like right ahead of us. I think he's defective. <laughs> oh, well, don't need help anymore. Alright, manual load it. Mr. Monroe, you are in the storage chamber. The energy rounds for the weapon should be there. Here's one. But how do we get it to the firing chamber? <clears throat> Press the panel. Okay. Yeah, let's hope he's, uh, his accuracy is, uh, good. I guess the second time we won't have to deal with that. These turrets, if we ever have to do it a second time. <clears throat> and now the round is slowly going through. Oh, lots of turrets. I 
kind of want more health. Where's that health terminal? There it is. I don't know why these jerks are just following me around. Whoa! How did I die? <laughs> I think I think one of them accidentally hit the actual the charge. Uh, I have I have a save over there. <coughs> Wow. Everyone okay. That was red. We are out of time, Ensign. Load the charge now, or Voyager may be lost. I'm loading it now. That would be highly advisable, Mr. Monroe. Yeah, I'm Monroe, trying to do it. Commander, acknowledged. I am initiating the firing sequence. <clears throat> Prepare to beam back to Voyager. I, I love this cutscene. And here it comes. Oh, it's about to destroy the ship. Oh no. Just the nick of time. And we did it. That was certainly lucky. Where's everyone else? We took some damage, had to beam you back separately. Tuvok needs you, come on. The harvester ship was only disabled, but now they're trying to board us. That's one tough ship, but at least Voyager's still in one piece. Chang, Monroe, the harvester's docking tendrils are attempting to breach the hull. Go to the equipment room and restock. Alright, let's go. <laughs> He's so angry. All right. They oh. stock up. If the harvesters are anywhere near us, you're going to need some heavy fire. Well, I'm good. As you can see, we took some casualties. Do you require medical attention? Why they have missed you and started Doctor, attacking us? Don't Thanks. you have something to shoot at? <laughs> yes, yes I do. Okay, well, let's, let's go do the this. Harvesters are almost through. Come on. <clears throat> okay. I why is he yeah, he's running ahead. The harvesters are spreading out into the corridors. Stop them at any cost. <laughs> You're safe now. I've killed them all. What is he doing? <laughs> wow. Yep, yeah, he's just gonna be like having a seizure on the ground there or something. I feel kind of bad now. Can I go here? Nope. Slightly larger harvesters. Wow. The slightly, the slightly bigger versions. At least I have an arc welder. Oh no, someone died here. I probably should use this gun a bit more. Oh, they're all dead. They come dying like a. What the hell are you doing on the bed? Okay, cool. It's a person. Oh, uh, I think this is Beesman's room. Yeah, this is this is like all the rooms uh, for everyone on the. I think the hazard team. Because Rick is. Uh, this is Rick there. They're one, they're one problem is with doors. Okay. My god, they're everywhere. Oh, we can go here. You can die. Ah, shooting gallery. Oh, wait. Oh, it's supposed to fall down here. I get it. Hey, guess who it is? Apparently he was supposed to say something, but skipped it. He's gonna be running out of ammo soon. Oh crap. I might have screwed myself just there. Yeah, yeah we, we need help, I think. Oh, no. Ah, that was the one problem. I, I unfortunately underestimated 
Uh, exploded barrels right inside me. Oh, okay. What's over here? Oh, this is back, uh... That person died again. Is he still having a seizure? Yep. <laughs> no, open the door. There we go. <laughs> Maybe I should just put him out of his misery. Oh, nah. I'm gonna blow up all those things over there. Oh, yeah, it's blowing up. That would make it, maybe you can actually hear him. <laughs> oh, they're just coming through the same place. <laughs> he's so... he's so great. Why are you using the iPod? Can I take that back? You're actually... you're actually a prick. I guess I'm supposed to make it there? Alright, let's get out of here. Uh... Why do I always see him? Alright, where do we go? Um, we gotta stop them. I knew you were supposed to go down here. You know, they were just like randomly spawning from here. A bunch of guns here. Just give me ammo. Alright. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to go to the dock. Uh, to get, to get some health. Alright, let's go to Doc Beesman. Or maybe we're supposed to go somewhere else. Why are you guys just standing here? My god. Just a moment. You'll be fine. Yeah, thanks. Oh, we can restock here as well. <laughs> awesome. Alright, we got full ammo now. Alright. Uh, looks like we're not going here, Beesman. Keep looking around. Uh, I guess we're supposed to go here. Oh. These men, come on. Well, I guess he's not helping me anymore. Oh, it's another crewman dead. You know, the Voyager for being lost as an unlimited supply of crewmen. We do not require medical attention. Your assistance is much appreciated, Ensign. I'll say. Any later and we might have been a harvester snack. When Rhoda Bridge, the harvesters have been eliminated. Good work, Ensign. We'll get cleanup crews down there on the double. Can't believe the aliens survived the hit from that dreadnought. It would have been much worse had we not disabled the harvester. Not that that's going to make anyone around here feel any better. What do you mean? Let's just say that... As ship's morale officer, I've noticed people are a little on edge from constantly being on the defensive for so long. I just hope we get out of here soon. Tuvok, Ensign Monroe, report to the conference room in half an hour. The ISODCM is working. Environmental controls and most critical systems will be online soon. But I don't know if we'll get full power back. How long before warp drive? I want to get Voyager as far from this death trap as possible. I might be able to get it up and running, but I can't guarantee its stability with that constant power drain from the forge's dampening field. Harry, what about sensors? Can we... Wait, aren't we... Go ahead, Ensign. What's on your mind? Well, aren't we going to counterattack? What? I mean, are we just going to sit here and wait for them to attack again, or are we going to strike back? I don't intend to leave Voyager a sitting duck, Ensign. Maybe you weren't paying attention just now, but we're doing our best to get out of here. Mr. Monroe, you were invited to this conference as a courtesy. The captain has rejected your proposal. Captain, I'm just saying what everyone is thinking. All right, Ensign. Just what is everyone thinking? Well, it's just that people are tired of being on the defensive. I have to agree. I've talked with some of the crew. Morale is low. 
They feel vulnerable. The best defense is often a strong offense. What are we supposed to do without engines and weapons? Drift over there and use harsh language? That thing's outer defenses could cut Voyager to ribbons. Not every problem can be solved by force, Ensign. I would have thought you would know that by now. While we're sitting here licking our wounds, the Forge could send another Harvester ship. All the more reason to get repairs done sooner. But what if the repairs can't be finished because of that dampening field? I understand. We're all feeling vulnerable. But I'm not just captain of this ship. I'm the captain of her crew as well. I can't ignore the morale of my people. If they don't get a chance to fight back, they might not have any fight left in them by the time the next Harvester comes. And I can't ignore the fate of the other countless victims this Forge has taken, and the ones it's yet to take. We've been fighting so hard for our own survival, we've almost forgotten our responsibility to the others trapped here. If we have a chance to stop this madness once and for all, we must take it. However, Voyager is in no shape to challenge the Forge. Mr. Monroe, I take it you have a plan in mind. Yes, I do. Trojan Horse. The Harvester ship? Of course! I can take a small team of my best people. We use the Harvester to enter the Forge and lower its defenses so you can send reinforcements and shuttles. If we can shut down the dampening field, Voyager and the other ships should be able to escape. We don't have any idea what kind of internal defenses that thing has. At the very least, we can buy Voyager some time. All right. Tuvok, Chakotay, Monroe, let's put together a plan. It's time we brought the fight to our captors. Once the dampening field generator is down, we will evacuate the forge and return to Voyager via the shuttlecrafts. Crewman Jaworski, yes. Sir, how are we going to get the Harvester back to the forge? We don't know how to operate it, do we? A science team has examined the Harvester ship and discovered an automatic recall system. The ship is programmed to return to the forge on its own. Your team leader, Ensign Monroe, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. The first team is going to be a small group, just myself, Telsia, Beesman, and Chell. We will board the Harvester and initiate the auto-return sequence. We believe the Harvester will return to this area of the forge, a docking ring of some sort. Still under construction, apparently. Our scans indicate that the external defense's power grid is located somewhere in this area. Once we shut it down, we'll call for the reinforcements. That's where the rest of you come in. Once we rendezvous, we will spread out and proceed down this main shaft. We'll try to locate the generator for the dampening field and destroy it, allowing Voyager to escape. Any questions? Liz? What kind of resistance are we going to run into? Honestly, we don't know. We presume there'll be more harvesters over there and who knows what else. We don't know anything about this forge and who's operating it, but I expect pretty heavy resistance. Look, I know some of you must be scared. I know I am, but the Hazard team was created and trained for exactly this kind of dangerous assignment. We can beat this thing. This crew has repeatedly surprised and impressed me over these past several years. Starfleet, Maquis, and others. We've all come together and performed beyond the expectations of even the finest starship crew. I know you can do this. We will shut down this death trap. All right, let's suit up and get going. My team, meet by the Harvester docking tendril in one half hour. Dismissed. Half an hour is a lot of time. <coughs> oh, well, fast forward. Come to wish me luck, Tuvok? Vulcans do not believe in luck, Mr. Monroe. However, your success is crucial. And while I believe you will prevail, I hope that your mission does not encounter undue adversity. Thanks, Tuvok. We will join you as soon as your team deactivates the outer defenses. Yeah, let's do this. Apparently not disabled. Oh, the forge. This is the last mission, by the way.
if it wasn't obvious. Where's been? Uh, grenades. Anybody home? Yeah, he's got How the scab your rifle. Right As I said, every every ship you go to is like di very different in design. It's, it's really cool, actually. Hey, Chell. Hope you're not afraid of heights. <laughs> Why? Uh oh. Hey, Monroe. Chell's never gonna make it across. See if you can find an easier way down for him. We'll cover you. <laughs> Dude, she's sniping. That's kick ass. I didn't know she would do that. Michelle's never gonna make it across, yeah, okay. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot, Beast. Also, their, their accuracy is horrible. I mean, I'm using a grenade launcher, I'm hitting more than they are. Stupid harvesters. Tricks, tricks are for kids. Oh. Uh, I don't even know why I went here. Damn it. <laughs> I don't really need that ammo. <laughs> it's not worth it. Alright. They got turrets here too? Find me where. What's going on? Oh, you. And he just sits there and dies. Alright, they're all done. Anyone else? Nope. Okay. Oh, wow. Really? What an easier way down for him. And I, and I was like telling him to move it. Wow. That's the appreciation I get for uh, finding an easier way down for you. Alrighty. I guess we'll go down. Look. Looks like a dead end. <laughs> Just as they jump down into a pit. No, oh, I want to go back up. Uh, oh. <clears throat> well, looks like we're not getting out. Well, there's some things over there. Yeah, let's go grab them. I'm hanging out over here. Tells you. Whoa, where are you going? And this thing makes you float back up. Very slowly, such, but. Alright. And they somehow made it across. It beats me, my gun's better. There's atmosphere in here. I think you'd be the one with a grenade launcher. Must be the harvester's uglier cousins. I don't think they like us very much. <laughs> uh, well, they die pretty easily, so I'm not worried about them. So we'll go get the control panel. You dropped the force field. Which force field? Oh, there you are. <coughs> Damn it. I can't even get him. There we go, now I got him. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, thanks for the warning of they're swarming with aliens. <laughs> what was that all about? You know, shouldn't that be like a racist term nowadays? Oh, look, someone's scapping me. And I'm just gonna not respond. <laughs> I never have had this happen. They're very persistent. I really want to get out of there because they're not really focusing on anyone else but me. Oh, jeez. 
I have to check that out. This is really annoying. No, no, it's part of the game, guys. I'm being hailed with the call and everything. Oh, dear God. Thanks, Beastman. Okay, I'm gonna go hang up on that person. I'll be right back. Okay. Shut off Skype. So we should be good now. It looks like forge. So we'll take him out. Technology like this. I can't deactivate the defense system from here. Wait a second. I think I can. Yes. I can run an endless loop, a, a simulation of current sensor data. It will just extrapolate all of the ship's current movement. So we're targeting computers and think all the ships are just drifting normally. Right. When reinforcements come, the targeting computers won't see them. Good thinking, Chell. When Road of Voyager, the defense grid is down. You should be able to bring in reinforcements to the docking rig. But you better hurry. It's some pretty heavy resistance. Understood. We shall be there as soon as possible. In the meantime, try to locate the main central shaft of the forge. Our scans indicate it should lead to the energy dampening field generator. Acknowledged. Monroe out. All right. We better get moving before more of those things show up. We can meet up with the reinforcements on one of the lower levels. Okay. I've locked that exit down. Didn't like that noise I heard. Oh, it's, I think this is it. <clears throat> That's just a new area. Really? Yeah, even this one hits them. This is a really powerful gun. I kind of want another health thing. I'm glad Beastman actually does something. Yeah. Holy crap, they jump at you! Wow. Uh, that was interesting. No. A Voyager debris. How'd they get it, though? Hey, hey, hey! What the? That's my Nausicaan wrestling trophy! Alright, now I'm really gonna have to teach him a lesson. Calm <laughs> down, crewman. <laughs> He's just joking. Holy crap. Monroe, you have no sense of humor. Oh, wait, you just wait for it to go through. I see. Oh, we can just shut it off. Yeah, this thing fires, like, so much. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, look, there's a uh, health right there. I think I'll go grab it. Oh, whoa. Okay, that was not anticipated. Where did they come from? I kind of want to know. It's the one scavenger that, that didn't make it along here. A lot of red being used here, though. It's evil. Where did these guys come from? Oh, dear god. <laughs> I didn't see that coming at all. Alright, back to that save. I wish you'd load your quick saves. Alrighty. Let's uh, try again with less fail. Actually, I'll maybe use the elk arc weapon. I really want to know where they come from. They just appear. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see them here. Get them all. We got these guys. Dude, like, he actually kills stuff. Remember, like, all the other missions where, like, they would just, like, take a billion hits to take down? That's what Beastman is. It's probably just Beastman doing it all. An actual good... This is, like, the only mission you get to be with him on, though. It's kind of sucks. Oh. Okay. Oh. Actual uh, ranged guys. Get all of them. 
And he, he just comes down here to shoot me. The mines are probably the best feature of this thing. Just tell me to hold my fire. Alright, more arc weapon. Whoa! Where do they come from? Alright, uh, let's hope that there's an actual uh, health terminal. No, that's too much to ask. Whatever, I can do it. Hey, 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 check it out, man. There's some of those creatures in these containers. What's that all about? Who cares? As long as they stay in there. Hello? Hello? <laughs> hey, ugly. <laughs> Wake up. Hey, 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 be careful. Ah, he's sound asleep. He's lucky he's in there. <laughs> Maybe I should just kill him on purpose. Stop that. <laughs> like... Oh. What the oh. <laughs> I um I pressed one, but the, the, the con the open the console key is uh, right beside it and I uh I pressed it by accident, which thus blew, blew me up. <clears throat> My bad guys. Alright, let's try this again. Let's go over here. Oh god, no! Don't mess. Oh, they can just shoot us from you there? That's not even fair. They, they're stupid enough to come out of the force field, so... But not knowing it actually protects them. Alright, back to the grenades. Can we go in? Oh, yes we can. The minute I don't look is when the, the little force field thing comes out. Alright. Uh... I'll just stay in the elevator, guys. Cause they don't, they seem to be coming behind me, but they don't even care. Uh oh, whoopsies. My bad. Yeah, they're like appearing beside me. It's kind of weird. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I just gotta ignore them when they get close to me, because, uh... They, they just absolutely destroy me if, if, if I, uh... Well, my mind's do it, but... Whoops. <laughs> He's like taking more out. <laughs> yeah, he's been. Nope, he got hit. Ah. Oh. Oh my god, you know who's bad? Looking at him. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Uh, oh, there's another health terminal right here. Uh, come on. More, more energy. Oh look, there's, there's some friends. Wow. I wonder if these guys will stop following me around. I <laughs> like took, took out like three of them in a row. Jeez. Thanks, Tubok. We couldn't have held out much longer. Did all the boarding parties make it? Yes. The defense systems did not fire. The captain, Chakotay, and others have boarded several decks. Good. 
Now we just have to find the generator and shut it down. Monroe? He's dead. No! Dead? No. He can't be. He saved us all. The good of the many outweighs the needs of the few. Mr. Deesman understood this. He will be missed. But we must continue with our operation. We had to sleep this corpse there. Oh no, wait, they beamed it. Sensor scans indicated that the generator is on the lowest level. We will need to divide into teams and try to find a way down to destroy it. Mr. Chell, Miss Murphy, I will require your skills. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Chang, Jurat, you're with me then. We should maintain an open comm channel for the remainder of the mission. Let's go. Well, this game's no longer any fun because Beesman's dead, so we're gonna just quit now. So bye.